Welcome back. Australia's first medical cannabis dispensary is operating from the back of a van in northern New South Wales. It may be illegal, but the man behind it says he can't stop helping those who rely on him. He's no doctor, but Tony Bauer claims he's helped hundreds of sick and dying patients. For 10 years, he's delivered his medical cannabis tincture to people with chronic pain out of his van from a car park in Nimbin. Tony's medicine is so popular, he says he can't keep up with demand. Every single day I turn people away. Many of Tony's patients have cancer. Others have conditions like MS. All Tony asks of them is a medical certificate proving their illness. We don't charge anything for it. We give it away at, um, you know, uh, and it's point of showing that it is a really cheap medicine. It can be done cheap too. And the government would probably jump on me if I tried to charge anybody and I really don't see the point. I'm trying to get a medicine to sick people and I'm trying to get the law sorted out on, um, so that the police aren't harassing sick people. Driving seven hours every fortnight from his home in Kempsey, Tony goes to where his patients know to find him. These days, it's a table out the back of a local not-for-profit organisation. How are you, Ron? How are you bone Hello. Well, thanks, Tony. Yeah. I don't think I would be here, honestly, without this. I I, I couldn't walk any more than three steps without having to stop for a break. I, I now go out and work and run around like a person half my age. Ronald Jones has emphysema as well as chronic arthritis. I, I normally just have a little sip and on, in five minutes time I will be pain free. I started using the medicinal cannabis about three months ago. I mainly came because I suffer from emphysema. It's helped the coughing subside and um, breathing's a lot easier and I have a lot more energy than what I had before. Cannabis or marijuana is an illicit substance, but thousands of Australians are using this ancient herb, albeit illegally, as a treatment for pain. There's varying views about whether there are any benefits of medical cannabis. Certainly there are some trials that are now showing some benefits in the area of HIV medicine and wasting diseases. The medicinal use of cannabis is legal in Canada, Italy and in some states in the US. Steve Hambleton from the Australian Medical Association says while we're still a long way off from legalising it here, Tony's medicine could help lead the way. Well this may well be an opportunity and it's, um, it's surprising where you see medical breakthroughs come from and if there's someone who's managed to purify the product and change it in a way that's uh, removing some of the harmful effects, let's have a look at that. Tony claims his product has been found to contain no illegal substances and no psychoactive elements and he's applied to the TGA for a licence to officially manufacture his medical cannabis. But until he's able to complete scientific trials, his medicine business will remain a backyard operation. What I do is just trying to get cheap medicine out to people um, and I'm not going to go away. And while Tony's patients could face legal consequences, for them it's a risk worth taking. I am pain free, I am able to function in the community and it's just so good. I feel that I've been given a second chance at life. We, we have a lot of moral judgment when it comes to cannabis and, and marijuana, but I, if someone is terminally ill mm. suffer, or suffering a chronic illness like that, mm. there's no room for moral problem. judgment, whatever they need to do. It's also good to hear that the medical profession and medical science, at least looking at the possibility, it could be a good thing. Absolutely. Mm. Now we've got to go for the night.